What we do on the experiment is we look at the effects of water and erosion on the banks of the river. So without further ado, I'm going to switch on. And you'll hear the pump going and we've got our water coming in. Now it starts to head down our river, meanders along and already you should be able to see it's starting to have effects on the bank and we have now lost one of our little trucks that was placed. Now this does a couple of things, it will actually divert the water to some areas, it will also reduce the cross-sectional area of flow. When it does that you increase the velocity of the water around that section. Now this can have a knock-on effect in which case the velocity and the direction of flow will move to a different position and you'll get a different position of attack on the river banks. So we run the experiments and we just look at the course. Now we've started off with a fairly narrow meandering river. It's gone from here to there. It's already widened out due to the erosion and we're starting to lose our banks. They're reducing in height and these bits in particular widening out and the effects of that erosion is occurring in those places. Roughly about here, we're starting to get quite low on the river bank. And that's slowly being eroded away. First bit of water has now gone over the top. And we're starting to get a little bit of a change to the course of our river. This section in particular is interesting because what we've got is quite a wide channel now. It's opened up and I'm not sure if you can see it, but this has now become quite a dead spot in the water. There's not a lot of movement, there's not a lot of acceleration around the bend anymore and the course has taken on to here. You also notice that the sediment is building up, it's forming banks, changing the direction of flow and over here, we've actually changed the whole course of our river from this meander to slightly more straighter river. This bend's managed to remain the same, but we're now heading more or less down the centre of the channel to the other end. And now you've got a totally different direction for the river altogether. And I think we've even moved from our central channel over to the left. 